This is Napolitan pizza made with biga. Hello, Alfonso, and my friend. He's gonna show us how to make Napolitan style pizza with biga. What's biga? Uh, it's a priest. So it's uh, lighter. It's lighter. It's a more crunchy, beautiful, soft lightness. It's an amazing pizza. Come on, show us. Okay, I do. <laughs> Napolitan. Yeah. Very fragrant, yeah. beautiful. It's like a We're beautiful kind of, yeah. yeah. Hi and welcome to Vincenzo's Place. Oh yeah. yeah. With Alfonso all the way from Naples yeah. and Napoletano pizza chef. We're very lucky to have you here in Sydney. What is this? It's a pizza Napolitan with the bigger. This guy took the Napolitan pizza to the next level. The future is here in this pizza. Come on, Come show on us now. how to Ready do it. Ready to go? Yes. Let's go. <laughs> I'm gonna show you the ingredients for make a bigger. We have one gram of uh, yeast, dry yeast. Then we have 250 ml of water and then half a kilo of flour. Which flour are we gonna use? We're gonna use a uh, a strong flour. It means uh, when you want to buy the flour in a shopping center, you're going to see the big the W. Uh, it means the, the strong, the power of uh, flour. And then I prefer the dry yeast because dry yeast, they can give me the consistency of the products. The fresh yeast sometimes is good, sometimes it's not good. That's why I prefer always have consistency in my products. Here we have the our one gram of dry yeast then we have our 250 ml of water room temperature is fine how i said before then we have our flour 250 grams of uh, flour can be zero or double zero the important things how i said before is the power okay the important things that you have to read the label the w is very important you're gonna find a number with uh, three letters like 320 340 more than the 300 W, the flour is it's okay, it's fine. Or you can check there is a protein, 10%, 12%, more than 10% is gonna be all right. In this case, we're gonna use uh, the protein, 50% of the protein. That's why it's a strong flour. Okay, now we start to make uh, a bigger. We start with the first step, mix dry yeast in the water. Or we can just put straight away in the flour. But in this case, we're gonna mix in the water and we're gonna use this whistle and mix it. When you understand that the yeast is melted, it's not melted properly, we continue to mixing like this. Okay, we're gonna use this box. Okay, the important thing is understand the batch of dough. How much we gonna put? If it's like one kilo or half a kilo of a product, we need a big, large box like this one. Why? Because the dough, in this case, the bigger, needs to briefing. And that's why it has to be three times more bigger than your dough. In Italy, we call the bigger prefermentation. It's a typical technique that we use to make a dough. We Put the flour in a box, then simple, very, very easy, we're gonna put all water everywhere, gentle, to create our bigger. Why are you gentle? Uh, because we don't want to create a big mass of um, bigger somewhere. And then, no one does, but I do the bigger in uh, this box. It is the easy way. And we start to make a bigger like this. You can see guys, is all these small things, they're gonna be our bigger. Okay, we continue the process. We're mixing. This job uh, takes uh, around uh, three minutes. You're gonna shake it like this, then you can put also the lids on the top and shake it more stronger. 
Then, okay, we're gonna use also our spatula to clean the box. Like this, we don't wanna have any leftover big flour. And we continue to mix in. You can see, when it's like this, you can see it's the best bigger because it's longer. It's like a kind of a spaghetti or fettuccine. <laughs> Look how it's coming properly. It's very nice bigger. People that are professionals in this job, but they can understand. And we can use also our hands eh, to do this job. Look. We still continue to make sure that all the water will be absorbed by the flour. And then the yeast process will continue. Look how it's beautiful. It's gonna be our structure for our fantastic do. Okay, it's enough. After this job, we make sure that everything is clean, everything is perfect. We put the lid, fridge, or room temperature. I tell you guys, for the room temperature, it's very important that the, the temperature around you has to be 18 degree, which is impossible in Australia, because one day it's hot, one day it's warm, one day it's uh, cold. That's why I advise to you put in a fridge. The fridge has to be four degree and take rest the hour bigger for 14 hours. Let's do it. Guys, this one is the results. I'm gonna show you our bigger hour comes. The important thing is to smell as a yogurt. This one I wanna tell you is the bigger that I made yesterday. The one is for our restaurant. It's a professional bigger. You can see the structure of this bigger. And then now I'm gonna show you my recipe and I'm gonna make the my dough. Just for you guys today, I will say all my secrets about the dough. Okay, I can smell the yogurt. If uh, smell of acid, guys, the results is gonna be no good. It has to be very soft and gentle smell like this one that one is the it's a perfect bigger to make the dough the rest of part of uh, the complete our rest part of dough we need half a kilo of flour then we the, we need the 400 m uh, miles of water then we need the 30 grams of salt fine salt is fine and guys, if you want to boost your dough, you can add a small amount of uh, yeast, like uh, less than half a gram. Then, if you use an uh, electric oven, you guys, you can use uh, canola oil or extra virgin oil. If you use canola oil, you're going to make your dough very crispy. If you want to use uh, extra virgin olive oil, your dough is going to be soggy, more soft. Also, we need uh, the 500 grams of uh, bigger that we made yesterday that is already with the dry yeast inside and water and now we're gonna complete our dough okay let's go to make uh, our dough we're gonna make this dough with 50 percent of the bigger which is always upper yeast and then we're gonna do this uh, dough with the 65 percent of hydration it means water let's do okay we take uh, our big large bowl and then this one is the our bowl with the our bigger. When I say 50%, it means that on one kilo of flour, we're gonna use 50% of bigger. We're gonna break. You guys at home, you can make also 100% of bigger. I think already someone showed on um, YouTube 100% of bigger. It means it's just the one bigger. It's just bigger, pre-fermentation, pre -yeast. And then you're gonna add the water, salt, and the flour, but just a small amount because it has to be 100%. In this case, we do 50%, which is, for me, the best. Now we're gonna break our bigger in this bowl, like this. Make sure that it's not, that it's not all together. Why we're gonna you break it? Uh, because now when I'm going to mix, I want that this bigger is gonna be melted in oh, our it's water. It's easier to, to melt. It's a long process, but 
for me that I'm a professionist. Sometimes I break very easy or I also don't mix them. In this case, we are doing uh, with the, our hands, very traditional way. Then we're gonna add our water. Okay, for the, my 400 uh, ml of water, I already put inside of my bigger 350 and I left 50 ml in the water in my jug for the, my second step. Okay, in this step, I leave to melt slowly and gentle uh, the, my bigger inside. Usually with the dough mix, I already start the process of uh, mixing. You can do like this. Also with your keys, this is funny. Everyone put their hands in our bigger. When we start to see the water that change the color, and we understand that the bigger start to become more soft, we can start also to integrate our flour. And in a couple of minutes, I will do this job. You can see the structure of our bigger. It's a like kind of mozzarella. Yeah looks fantastic okay let's go to put the flour I see you again just in one shot it's fine 500 grams of our flour I always prefer to put a little bit of yeast just a little bit that one is gonna boost my dough it's gonna give you more more performance okay now we start to mix with the hands All you guys, if you don't want to use your hands, you can use also a spoon or a whistle. How you like, how you prefer. Alphonse, how many pizzas can we make with this dough? Around uh, six, seven uh, pizza. Alphonse, what, what is the shelf life for this dough? Ah, uh, the bigger, if you conserve in a fridge, you can use it for like uh, four or five days. Okay. It's unbelievable uh, because uh, the rest of uh, different uh, mixing dough doesn't give this uh, result. Oh, wow. Okay, we are still doing this job, we are mixing. Okay, I move the dough, I think I make sure that I take out all the flour that I have in my bowl and I put on a bench. At this point I will start to introduce the salt and a little bit of water to melt the salt properly and I will continue to mixing. We can mix the dough in different way, with this one or with our punch, it's gonna be fine, it's a gymnastic guys, the one. At this point we put Still more water and we are going. We can also reply the dough mixer with the braccia tuffanti in Italian language but in English this dog mixer honestly I don't know how you can call but <laughs> I repeat the same moments you can see and then I'm going also more faster than before. continue to mix it. We can do also in this way, we can fold our dough. Why are you doing the fold? Uh, because it start to make more stronger the gluten inside. So see, if I was doing this, I would be using flour. It looks so sticky. So yeah. um, what's the recommendation you can give us? We want to try and you do this also at home and don't give up, you know? Yeah. Just be fast. Be more fast, guys. Okay. So there's no way I can take my time, I need to be very and fast. Also sometimes it can happen that the bigger doesn't melt properly. Okay. Or the temperature is too hot to give these results. But we can fix everything, okay. it's no problem. Just add more flour. Put more uh, water, why? More water? We, we can oh do it. Uh, can you do this by hand? Yeah, yeah, we can, we oh can. God. You ready? Woo! Yeah, I want to achieve to so my 65%. Much. 
So you're making 65 percent by yeah, hand? Yeah, by hand. I'm a crazy, I know. But I can do also 70, but I need the more to, to go back oh in the gym. <laughs> so normally you use a stand mixer, do you? Yeah, for a professional job like this one, we need a speed to a good mixer. A good mixer. So yeah. you can use a stand mixer at home. This is hard. I will never do this by hand, sorry. I don't have the experience you have. Yeah, so yeah, we'll yeah. Just use my kitchen hand. Kitchen hand is fast, it's easy. Look. So you're saying to do this, you know, yeah. for, to do it by hand, it's just for professional. It's just for professional. You yeah. must be a bigger lover. Yeah, uh, you can do also at home, but try to do just a 55 or 60 percent. Don't go stand never. Mixer. Don't go never under 50% 50, 50 of water because, guys, you're gonna eat just the flour. Olio. I put on a bench, olive oil. Another 20 minutes. 30 minutes. Okay, this one is our dough, this one is our results, and now we're gonna make our dough bowl. The one we call mozzatura, it's 250 grams of uh, dough bowl. It's a little bit more still sticky because uh, unfortunately we didn't use the dough mixer, and uh, it's still a good dough, but we, in dough mixer it's gonna come out much better. We can do uh, with this technique, or we can try to make the portion of the dough, and then do in this way, like folding, 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 and then a bit more, and then this again, these things. Okay and the dough, the bowl is coming out. Okay, now our uh, bowls dough are ready. We can uh, put a plastic lid or we can use a tea towel. Okay, Alfonso, now we did the pizza bowls. Yeah. Now, this is an important question. How do we let it rise? What options do we have? Room temperature, fridge. Okay, room temperature. Eight hours or overnight in a fridge. Temperature always of four or between four to six degrees. Okay. So how long in overnight? How long? How many hours do we can, can be, be in the fridge? Twelve or twenty-four. But remember, this one is a bigger dough. It means that this dough is already pre-fermented in a bigger box, right. uh, as the video before. Yes. It's okay, already it's a good. high fermentation because the yeast already did its job. So the best thing to do is to actually have it on the day. Yeah. You make the pizza bowls, use it on the yeah. same day. Yeah, in the same day, it's for professionalist uh, people. Okay. Like me. <laughs> <laughs> the hour do already look are beautiful. You can see also all the fermentation inside. Look, the beautiful structure. Uh, we are ready to stretch our pizza. Look, this one is the technique for take our balls. It's 250 grams of uh, dough ball. Okay, guys, I'm going to use the semolina because it's one of my favorite uh, flour for stretching the, the dough because uh, it's uh, very fine, this kind of uh, semolina and make the pizza more crunchy and more firm. Alfonso, the question now is, how do we cook the Napolitan pizza with bigger? Okay, we have two options. One is our wood fire oven. Another the one is, uh, that one is uh, around 400 degrees. Classic Napolitan yeah. style, okay. I can uh, tell you one uh, tip yes. to understand uh, the temperature of oven. If you leave the hand there for more than five seconds and start to burning, it's, it's ready to go. Ready to go. What about the other option? It's an electric oven. What temperature? Uh, it's gonna be around 250. Okay, let's do yeah. it. Ready to go. We're gonna make a beautiful prosciutto pizza. Okay, that one we are going to stretch in Napoletan way. Eh? The technique is uh, with the schiaffo. It means smacking in Napoletan. Put some flour on the bottom. Stretching one, two, like a cross, and ready to go. 
We're gonna make uh, our prosciutto pizza, the special that we have here in uh, our restaurant, with the three spoon of tomato, olive oil, and then we cook in oven. We take our peel. We can use uh, the traditional way to take the dough. Like this, we're not gonna have any flour on the bottom of our pizza and ready to go, to go in oven. Okay, guys, when you cook the pizza in oven, just take the pizza from this side always. Like this, you're gonna risk to break the pizza inside and turn. Just two times. Don't touch too much the, the pizza in oven, do the moments like this because it's everything that doesn't work. And never cook here on the top of uh, the igloo because uh, it's gonna happen that you smoke it, uh, your pizza. It's not good, it's a danger for your body. It's not very healthy. Okay, the our pizza is almost done. We cook a little bit here. And then we're gonna garnish with our prosciutto and stracciatella. Okay, that one is our crust. You guys, you can see it's very soft. It's nice. I didn't make very big because uh, the temperature of the dough is still a bit cold, but it's fine, I love it. Okay, you can see how beautiful is it. Look, we can hold. Look. Wow. It's the right color. The many people say it's a bunny, this bunny is perfect, guys. Like this is perfect. Trust me. Yeah, I'm gonna put uh, prosciutto San Daniele, aged. Put like this, like uh, kind of uh, rose. Be beautiful. Cover, cover the entire yeah. pizza. Yeah. Then we're gonna put our stracciatella. Very. Uh, What's artistica? Stracciatella um, cheese with uh, creamy, but it's one of the first, ste first step of the cheese. Is it inside of the burrata? Yeah, usually you can find it inside of the burrata. Olive oil, and we finish with our truffle. Truffle cream. Uh, truffle paste. Yeah. This one is our pizza. Look, the color is uh, gold and uh, it's soft and there is a lot of air you can see it's very bubbling inside the crust is soft thanks to this um, bakery technique like bigger we can have this result it's very beautiful also the color is gold i recommend always to have a result as a pizza the color has to be gold not black not white gold when uh, sometimes you can see big bubbles like this one, it's because the dough was in the fridge. And sometimes there are too many. It means also that the dough is uh, old. And uh, or probably they cook from a fridge straight away. That's why I recommend always to leave the, the dough resting and uh, leave in room temperature for at least a couple hours before then cooking. Because uh, cold and too hot, makes no a good reaction. I'm doing a test with my, uh, my phone. Look, you can see it's very light, it's very transparent. You can see the light of my phone. It's a real, no? Uh, that one is the future, guys. Alfonso, what we're doing right now is to try the pizza without any toppings, just a tomato yeah, sauce. Yeah, just tomato. So this is the best way to tell hey, how the yeah, pizza is. This one is another test. Many pizza chefs, they do this test to understand if they do, it's good, it's uh, old, oh, no. it's acid, or... No, so far, just tomato. Looks really Napolitan. Yeah. Very fragrant, yeah. beautiful. It's like a Are beautiful canola, yeah. yeah. What do you think, Vincenzo? It just tastes like it tastes like a Napolitan pizza, fluffier and lighter. Am I right? Yeah, it's a, a lot very lighter. also, a also lot elastic. Beautiful tomato sauce. Mm. Mm. Elastic, melt in my mouth and not soggy. Even though yeah. it's very thin, it's not soggy. It's not soggy. So much tomato tomatoes here, but it's not soggy. 
Yeah, wow. it's uh, what I want from my pizza. Wow. Because I don't want to complain. After six years in Australia, I don't want to hurt any Australians here. Ah, the pizza is soggy, it's soggy. Guys, no. I found the solution. <laughs> this is the solution. Solution is the bigger. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this episode. We will see you on the next Vincenzo's Plate video recipe, maybe with the pizza chef again showing us how to make another great pizza. Ciao, ragazzi. E ora si mangia. Bye. Pizza. Vincenzo's Ancora. Plate. Pizza without toppings, just the tomatoes. Oh mm. my god. It's all about the dough that you eat. It's all about the dough. Mmm. Wow.